So, here we are, my last lecture. After 12 years of schooling, 12 years of friends lost and made, 12 years of memories, good and bad, now it is all coming to an end. My childhood was an average one. I had both my parents, which I still do, a loving household. It was uneventful from what I remember. Your normal childhood memories, playing in the backyard, having dogs, pets, fighting with my sister. But around kindergarten is when it started to get interesting. Around kindergarten, I was always having trouble in class, not paying attention, always being sent to the counselor's office. So my mom decided to have me tested and I came positive for ADHD. ADHD is an attention deficit hyperetic disorder, which is a mental condition which affects my attention span and my, and my behavior. It was also in kindergarten when I started to be medicated. And over these 12 years, it's not gotten better. I learned how to deal with it, how to stop myself. And ADHD has probably been my greatest trial in life. Through self-discipline, I've learned to control it. Working with my hands has been one of my favorite things to pass the time away since I can remember. Carving, making stuff of metal, and more recently making knives. I know when I'm working, I get into this state of focus and I can just tune the world out. And I truly believe I'm my happiness at these times. So find something you're passionate about and stick with it. For four years, I've done marching band. Because of band, I feel that when I came into Butler, I came out more prepared than most of my other freshmen. I learned to lay out to school, and more importantly, I already had friends. However, for most of my time there, it was filled with hot, miserable days, and at times, I really wanted to quit. And fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how your perspective is, I wasn't allowed to quit. I wanted I wanted to enjoy myself. I wanted to keep this and have my high school experience. And the fact that every year of marching band was half a credit helped. For my first two years, I was in pit, which I played cymbals, gongs, bass drums, basically all the things that you can't do in a marching. And after those two years, I wanted to do something better. I wanted to be bigger than myself, so I tried out for drum major because I wanted that kind of leadership experience. I made drum major and I set about improving the band. However, what I did not know is that it's extremely hard to work with high schoolers. My mistake was I treated them all. I started to treat them all like cadets. However, most of these kids didn't have home training, so that didn't go very well. But in my second year, I learned from my mistakes, and things went smoother. We got along better, and I actually made some really good connections with my band members. And we did pretty well in competitions. JRGC was and is the highlight of my high school career. I came into Butler, and I was not in any way confident. I was cocky, and still sort of am. Then Sergeant First Class Campbell noticed this and became a systematic process of breaking me down. He targeted my missteps, my mistakes. He broke me down, but he helped build me back up. He taught me what real leadership was and how to implement it, but he didn't hold my hand. I found my own way, but he was always there to guide me when I went off astray. And he made sure that I didn't become a toxic leader. My time in high school has taught me many lessons, but not just those in the classroom. And of all these lessons that I remember, it is that every failure is a lesson.